I would like to share a testimony of what God has been doing in my life. I'd like to look at two verses. Let's open our Bibles to Luke 6, 31. And just as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. And the second verse is Matthew 7, verse 12. In everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. For this is the law and the prophets. What a privilege it is to have the Holy Spirit who is able to reveal to us our shortcomings, our sins. The Holy Spirit revealed to me recently through a friend. He said, Eli, you always try to do what is best, what you think is best for someone, instead of what is truly best for them. He said, you try to do what you think is best for me. All the time, I thought I got the golden rule under control. What is the golden rule? Well, the golden rule is, in everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. I thought having the right motive was it. That was a fulfillment of that scripture. But I fell short in attentively listening. Because scripture also says in James 1.19... Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. When I didn't listen to the other person, truly listen, I ended up doing for that person what I thought is best for them, instead of what truly was best for them. I decided to do something special for a coworker. I decided to rearrange their desk to a better location. And this is, about, is going to take me about an hour or so. But this time, I stopped. Before I did it, I realized what I'm going through, this lesson in my own life, and I decided to stop. I said, I'm going to ask this person if this is something they want. To my surprise, I found out if I would have moved that desk, it actually would have been a disservice and in somewhat insulting. Wow, I was trying to do what I thought was better from the other person. Another example of that is when we would leave for the weekend, my mother-in-law would try to do something special for us. She would clean the house, and she would rearrange everything to where she thought was the best place. And when we would come back, instead of being grateful, we were frustrated because we couldn't find anything, because her system was better. We tried to do good to others, right? We try to do good, but yet sometimes the people are ungrateful, or our kids, our children. And that hurts. When our motive is trying to do something good, in return we get ungratefulness, that hurts. And maybe most of that hurt comes because we don't listen to the other person. When I thought about it, I truly want to be heard. I truly want to be understood. Therefore, I was not doing to others as I would want done to me. If I'm not quick to listen and slow to speak, I'm actually not following the golden rule. How many relationships have I hurt because of my lack of listening? As I was analyzing this, I asked Dasha, who I was married, who I married for 12 years. We married for 12 years. And I asked her, is this true about me? And she said, yes. She couldn't put her finger on it and, because my motives were good. That's why it was so hard to detect. 
I always knew she liked mixed flowers, but yet I would get her roses because I liked roses. My mom liked roses. So I thought the value of roses was a better way of saying I love you. So I would give her roses throughout our relationship. But every time I would bring her home roses, maybe she thought, I'm not being heard or even unloved. But the Holy Spirit has a way of revealing to us our shortcomings, our sins. We are not God. We do not know what each one of us is thinking. We don't know what they want or need. Therefore, we as people have to listen to each other. We have to step in the shoes of somebody else and try to think what they truly want or need. I challenge every one of you to go back and analyze all your relationships and to see if you have the golden rule under control. Let's pray that the Holy Spirit would teach us to listen. Matthew 7, 12. And on these words I will end. In everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. For this is the law and the prophets. Amen. Let's pray.